What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, as I've stated in other in earlier videos, the videos I've done in all in 2021, we got more news coming out of Activision Blizzard. As in Raven QA, Strike enters its third week. Now let's speak on it. Now for those that are new to the channel and those that have been sleeping under a rock and those that have not been informed, I should say. Let's not be so cruel as to say sleeping under a rock. But those that have not been informed, I've yet to be informed. Activision Blizzard has been the face of many sexual misconduct allegations. Which is not a good thing. By any stretch of the imagination. Now, I know a lot of people come out there and say, or some people come out there and say, well, all publicity is good publicity. Good publicity. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. All right? If all publicity is good publicity, okay, then make yourself a top 10 most wanted in the, US, in the United States or in the world and have all these different police agencies looking for your ass ready to put a bullet in your ass. But all publicity is good publicity, right? Anywho, we moving forward. We got an article here. We're going to read. We're going to react. That's just how we do. All right. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show and give comments at the end like we always do. All right. Now let's get into it. The QA workers walked off the job in December to protest the termination of 12 contracted employees. On December 6, members of Raven Software's QA department walked off the job to protest the layoff of the 12 QA workers at the company. While the, walkout while the walkout quickly attracted support from other Activision Blizzard studios and spurred more forceful talk of unionization of the company, it has apparently not yet drawn a formal response from Activision Blizzard upper management. In a letter shared Tuesday via the ABK Workers Alliance Twitter account, the striking workers said that they have, had, they have not had any communication from leadership regarding their demand that the laid off employees be offered full time positions. We have emphasized that our demonstration is done with the best interest of the studio and all projects on which the studio works in mind, the striking Raven workers wrote. The downsizing of the Raven QA department without input from anyone within the department is concerning to us and others throughout the company. In the interest of making positive change for Raven, we would like to reach out to leadership to discuss the current situation. The workers listed three specifics they want to discuss with Activision Blizzard management. The details of their demand and expectations from both sides, relocation packages for employees who moved to Wisconsin to work at Raven, and the context of the situation from management perspective, including leadership goals for Raven's QA department. Let us know when you are able to have a conversation, the letter concludes. We want to be able to foster a transparent and trusting relationship at the studio. Here's the tweet right here. Pause if you need to to read it yourself and zoom in if you need to read it yourself. I'm not going to do it in this video to save some time. In an email sent to PC Gamer, an Activision Blizzard spokesperson said that said the company is deeply committed to the well-being of all our teams, including our QA workforce, and noted that Raven Management has engaged in dialogue with it with its staff to hear concerns and explain the company's overall investment in development resources. A previously announced we are growing a previous, as previous, excuse me, as previously announced, we are growing our overall investment in development and operation operations resources and converting nearly 500 temporary workers to full time employees across our studios. The largest conversion in Activision's history, the spokesperson said for the 12 temporary wor temporary workers at Raven whose agreements were not extended. We provided an extended note. We, we provided an extended notice period included payment for the two week holiday break and will be working directly with those that need relocation assistance. Raven is full of people dedicated to improving the culture at Activision, and we look forward to partnering with employees to do that work together. While positively worded, the statement would appear to be a rejection of the striking workers' singular demand that all members of Raven's QA department be converted to full-time employees, including the 12 who were let go. Fortunately for the striking workers, the fundraiser launched in December to, to support the work stoppage has been has been a resounding success, excuse me, and currently stands at more than $361,000 raised. I've reached out to the ABK Workers Alliance 
for comment and will receive update if I receive a reply. That is the end of the article. A lot to take in there. I know a lot to take in there. And as I've stated before, terrible, terrible situation going on at Activision Blizzard. They need to clean this up ASAP. However, I will say this. And I'm not siding with Activision Blizzard. I've been calling for Bobby Kotick's jobs long before this was even an issue. And it wasn't even for the simple fact at the, that I didn't even realize at the time that I thought the guy was creepy or anything like that. I said that the guy should go because you don't work in a video game industry and go out and quote and say with your own lips, on, on, on camera and record it. You don't record it with your own lips that, yeah, I work for a video game company, but my goal is to take the fun out of gaming. You don't do that. That is just a pre that that just that that that's just a precipice. That is just a stepping stone for gaming going downhill. You understand what I'm saying? That just told me that just gave me all the wrong vibes. You understand what I'm saying? And the last thing you want to do is sit there and 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 be the maker or the creator of a video game, a studio of a video game, and have all your workers either be complete snakes in the grass or have all your workers be miserable to be at their job, but they go there because they got bills to pay and they got families to feed and people depend on them to provide. You don't have that and have that as for a boss. You don't have that kind of that, that kind of standard as a boss and expect to have anything good come out of it without being a greedy bastard in the long run. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they made all that money. Call of Duty going to continue to make all that money, but look at but at what cost? At what cost? As a wise man once said, what good is it to gain the world but yet lose your soul? You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, that's exactly what we're seeing right here. We're seeing the cost of someone, quote unquote, sell a soul and now got to pay the piper for it. You understand what I'm saying? When you got somebody as in a power in the position of power, you have to be responsible with that. You cannot be reckless with a position of power. Didn't they tell didn't these mother didn't my, didn't didn't Uncle Ben teach you motherfuckers nothing? From Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. Y'all think that shit's just a movie, that's some real shit. You're irresponsible with the position of power you have been the biggest, one of the biggest video game studios on the planet. And yet you decide the best thing to do is to make people's lives miserable who all they want to do is just come to work and make the best game possible. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's asinine. Now, to speak on the Q&A strike entering this third week, guys, to be honest with you, I don't see this ending anytime soon. And I'm going to say this, too, while I'm speaking on the workers. Workers, the develop, for, for everybody that's on that QA team, I need y'all to hear me and hear me good. If you're going to ask for them to listen to you, if you're going to ask for them to lend them your ear, if you're going to make demands, here's what needs to happen on your end. You can't just make demands and say you want this, 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 and this, and then you don't allow you don't allow them to 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 negotiate. You understand what I'm saying? Know that in negotiation, you're not going to get every single thing that you want. You can't be a you can't be an employee and ask for everything that the boss has. It doesn't work like that. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to allow them the ability to negotiate with you. You can't just demand, 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 and then you aren't able to negotiate yourself. That's not how this works. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I'm just simply saying that going forward, if you're going to continue down this road, which I don't see ending, at least in the, I don't see ending within this month, I could be wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Because donations will only go so far. You understand what I'm saying? GoFundMe's only go so far. Fundraisers only go so far, but but you know what? Them bills going to go on forever. I'm not saying sell your soul. I'm just simply saying there has to be logic in this. There has to be someone with some reality in their mind to say, hey, eventually we going to have to get off strike and get our ass back to work or find somewhere else to go. You understand what I'm saying? And then it's not going to be that easy. You really think you're going to go strike on these people when they got all your information and think you just going to hop somewhere else knowing you got that on your background and they just going to hire you up? Highly doubt it. Could be wrong, but I highly doubt it. It's going to be a hell of a task if you manage to do it. I'm telling you that right now. So if you're going to do this, if you are going to do this, allow them the opportunity to negotiate because I'm sure that there are some things, though there needs to be plenty of changes. There needs to be a shit ton of changes going on. I'm on y'all side workers. You have to allow them to negotiate and you have to allow them to run the business as well. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, y'all are employees. Don't shit get done without y'all. 
However, the business does not stand if you do not have people in positions of power with the money to keep it going. You understand what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is this, and I'm going to end the video because I haven't been talking for too long already. Allow them the ability to negotiate. You understand what I'm saying? Make your demands, but remain logical and allow the other side to negotiate. Allow them to have their say as well. Because if you don't, this will be all for naught. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about Activision Blizzard and the situation going on at Raven with the QA strike, man. Uh, tell me whose side y'all on, man. Uh, tell me what y'all think about it. As long as y'all may respect and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's going to be the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out, and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, and more good content. Now, hashtag that announced. See y'all later.